God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll be continuing our study in the 25th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew. We will uh, start our reading at verse 19. In our last session, we read to verse 23, but I want you to get a full uh, uh, understanding of this parable. If I start from where we stopped off, you will be a midstream in a parable and may not get the full understanding of what we were talking about. So I will start our reading today in verse 19. Remember what I told you in our last setting. Uh, Jesus uh, was uh, actually in one setting, uh, uh, in verse uh, chapter 24, we studied a lot about the end times. Jesus talked about the tribula tribulation period and the things that are coming upon this uh, earth in the last days and in the end times. He also uh, uh, let us know what to expect when he uh, comes back uh, to this earth. So uh, I, this is actually a continuation. Uh, the chapter changed, but the flow did not change. This is actually one setting where Jesus is teaching. He taught on the end times. He, he taught us in Matthew chapter 24 that uh, uh, in the last days, uh, uh, when, before he comes, there's going to be two men in the field. Uh, one shall be taken and the other left. And two women grinding at the meal. One shall be taken and the other left. That lets us know that uh, everybody is not going to be ready when he comes. Uh, and he set the stage and, and let us know uh, other parables about the kingdom of heaven. And here he's giving us more about the kingdom of heaven and what it's going to be like when he returns. Uh, uh, if I just may read verse uh, 14 and then drop down to verse 19, uh, the, Jesus is saying in uh, uh, verse 14, chapter 25, for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his servants and delivered unto them his goods. Uh, so this uh, uh, this man called his servants, delivered unto to them his goods, uh, and in so many words, he wanted them to go out at, and put that money to use and gain other money uh, from it. And he gave one man five talents, another man two talents, uh, and another man one talent. Uh, so we find as we read in verse 19, and after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. In so many words, he came back. And I want you to know, Jesus is styling this as himself. Uh, he's gone away. He left us with so many things uh, uh, to do. He left us in charge of whatever he put us over. And he wanted us to do something with it. And he's letting us know there's going to be a reckoning day one of these days. He's coming back to this earth. And, and as we read in verse, t uh, verse 20, Jesus said, and so he that had received the five talents came and, and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained uh, beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Uh, thou hast been faithful over a few things. Uh, I will make thee ruler over many things. Uh, enter thou into the glory of uh, the joy of the Lord. Uh, in verse 22, uh, he also that had received two talents uh, came and said, Lord, thou hast delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. Uh, his Lord said unto him, Well done, Good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Oh, what a blessed that uh, day that's going to be when we've done all that we possibly can uh, to upbuild the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven uh, when Jesus return. Well, uh, let's read on in verse 24. Then he that had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not spread. Verse 25, And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, and thou, uh, thou uh, that there thou hast what is thine. In so many words, I, I went and dug and I hid your money in the earth. Now, here is what is yours. Uh, no interest, no nothing. This is what you gave me. Here it is back. Verse uh, 26, uh, his Lord answered and said unto him, uh, Thou wicked and slothful servant, uh, thou knewest that I, that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not spread. Uh, thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, uh, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with interest. Uh, take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him that hath ten. For unto every one uh, uh, that hath shall be given, and he that uh, have an abundance 
uh, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. Verse 30, and he cast the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. Uh, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uh, well, uh, such a seem like a, such a hard saying, but but uh, let me let you know, uh, Jesus gave all of us something to do. Uh, well, uh, he didn't tell us to measure shoulders with anyone. That's a that's a very big mistake that we that we're making in our world and also in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, we are not supposed to measure shoulders with anyone. Uh, my my eyes should not be on you and what you do for the kingdom of God or how much you do for the kingdom of God. My mind and my mindset should be on me doing what God would have me to do. Uh, well, we get we get sidetracked so many times by watching what others do. Uh, 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 maybe they have more than we do uh, and sometimes people may have less than we do. Uh, we're looking on both sides of the, of the spectrum and, and sometimes we think we're alright because we're doing a a little bit, uh, and then sometimes we feel that we are insufficient uh, because we're not doing as much as someone else. Uh, but I have you to know, uh, God is not here to judge us on another man's work, uh, on how much another person does, or how little another person does. Uh, he's going to judge us on what he give us to do. Uh, even in this small ministry, uh, I'm doing the very best that I possibly can uh, to get the word of God over to you, uh, just to preach the plain truth uh, of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, so that you will have an understanding of God's word uh, so that you will be a better person uh, and your life and walk with our Lord will be enhanced. Uh, that is my job. Uh, I don't have to worry about who's doing more or who's doing less. Uh, my job is to do what God told me to do. Uh, he can take the little bit that I have uh, and put it to good use uh, and send it all over the world. Uh, I know every Everybody on the planet is not going to listen, uh, but somebody will, uh, and somebody will be be blessed. Uh, so it's my job to just teach the word of God, uh, and God will open the ears of the ones who are supposed to hear it. Uh, those that really are hungry for the word of God, uh, when they tune in, they will listen, uh, because I am giving you nothing uh, but the word of God. Uh, our job, as a guy, I must say it again, uh, our job is not to measure shoulders with anyone. Uh, or try to be as big as someone. Uh, or we should not feel uh, that we're greater than someone uh, if we're doing a little bit more than they uh, they do. Uh, our job is just to do whatever God assigns us to do. Uh, and when he comes, he will say, well done, uh, thou good and faithful servant. Uh, well, I, 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 you can't look in your pa at your past history. Uh, you got to look at this thing for right now. Well, believe it or not, uh, I have pastored good churches. Uh, I have not ever pastored a mega church, uh, but I have pastored good churches. Uh, and God has blessed me uh, in that entity. Uh, God has blessed me to evangelize uh, in this country uh, and also abroad. Uh, I preach the gospel message on other soils. Uh, and many people that came to Jesus, uh, many people were blessed. Uh, many people's life was enhanced uh, by the preaching that God has anointed me to do. Uh, but right now, uh, he has me stationed in front of this camera, uh, trying to get the word of God over to you, uh, teaching it verse by verse uh, and chapter by chapter uh, so that you will grow thereby. Uh, that's what he's assigned me to do now. Uh, and if I do that uh, and not worry about what someone over here is doing, uh, or not worrying about what someone there is doing, uh, or not even worry about what I did uh, in my past, uh, my job is to stay, uh, stay stationed and do what he told me to do. And I know I heard his voice uh, when he told me to preach the gospel uh, in this form. Uh, if I do that, uh, when he comes to reckon with me, uh, he will say, well done, uh, thy good and faithful servant. Uh, you've been faithful over a few things. Uh, I'm going to make you ruler over many. Uh, well, I want you to know God. He's very real. Uh, and he is here. Uh, to bless and he is here uh, to give us uh, uh, that anointing to reach people uh, well well, uh, we find here but that one that uh, uh, he was inferior uh, he didn't want to do what God had told him to do uh, he went and buried that that he had uh, and put it up under soil until his master came to reckon with him uh, then when he came to reckon with 
him. He took it out and gave it and said, here is what you gave me. I, I haven't lost any uh, and I haven't gained any. Uh, well, I, I'm an honest believer. Uh, if Jesus sees you do your very best, uh, even if you take what you have uh, and fail with it, uh, if you gave it an earnest try, uh, I believe he will say, well done, uh, thou good and faithful servant. Uh, but if you take what he gave you uh, and then bury it under the soil uh, and do nothing with it, uh, all he can do is call you a wicked servant uh, and then cast you in the outer darkness uh, where, they're weep, where there is weeping uh, and gnashing of teeth. Uh, my job and what I want to do uh, and encourage you to do uh, is to, to do what we can for the Lord. Uh, don't measure our shoulders with other people, uh, but do whatever we do uh, as unto the Lord and he will bless us. Uh, well, <coughs> my time is rapidly running out for this session. I, I believe I'm going to narrow it down for now, uh, but I want you to know God is watching uh, and one day there is going to be a reckoning day. Uh, as we read verse 31, then the son of, son of man shall come in his glory. And all the holy angels with him, uh, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, uh, and before him shall be gathered all the nations, and he shall separate the one from the other, uh, and the, the shepherd, as the shepherd divided his sheep from uh, the goats, uh, then he shall set the, the sheep on the right hand, and the goats on the left. Uh, then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared you for you from the foundation uh, of the world. Uh, I want to be on that side uh, where he said, Well done. Uh, he is your inheritance. Uh, well done. Uh, all the riches that, uh, that has been spoken out for you uh, from the foundation of the world. Uh, here it is for you. Uh, well, I want to be on that right side. Uh, and I guarantee you, uh, I'm going to stay and do what God told me to do. Uh, I'm going to teach the word. Uh, believe you me, I'm not worried about how large the audience. Uh, but I know I'm reaching some uh, because I have heard from you. Uh, I am not worried uh, about what happened yesteryear. Uh, but I am doing what God has told me to do. Uh, and I believe when he returns, uh, he will say, well done, uh, thou good and faithful servant. Uh, I love you, my friends, with the love of the Lord. Uh, if you need to contact me, uh, if you would like to talk to me or, or ask me questions, uh, you can write me 3741 Candle Bluff Drive, uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, you can also contact me at my website, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. You can contact me on Twitter. You can contact me on MySpace. Uh, you can contact me on Stumble Upon. Uh, you can contact me at Buzz. Uh, many places you can contact me. Uh, anywhere on the World Wide Web. Uh, stumble upon me. Send me a message. Uh, I want you to know I love you, my friends, uh, with the love of the Lord. God bless you.